Hey, and welcome to Witchcrafty. So I wanted to make something to do with League of Legends as its 10 year anniversary is coming up and I thought to make another one of the cutest jungle creatures since I've already made a Pora on my channel. This is a really simple project and you can even move and adjust the legs to change its pose. So before we get started, here is a list of materials I used in order to create this plushie. If you need to pause the video here, do so now so that you can gather everything necessary. The pattern, as usual, is linked down below in the description and is for free for my deviant art. Download it and then cut out all of the individual pieces. And then you just need to cut it out in the material in the allocated colours, being careful to follow the key in the top left hand corner of the pattern. So, the first thing that you need to do is to place the white body pieces all on the outside and to join the two white body pieces along the curved top, leaving the bottom side open. Once you reach the slits in the body, make sure you're not joining them to the other side of the body and are sewing them together separately on either side. Then, continue along the stitch. After that, place the bottom part of the body underneath this and sew around it. When you nearly reach the end, flip it the right way up and stuff it generously so that it has a decent shape. And conceal it off with an invisible stitch. Then we can move on to the shell. Like with the white body pieces, we need to place each piece with the tracing on the outside. For each piece of the shell, you just need to join the mirrored pieces together, and once you nearly reach the end, flip them right way up and then conceal it with an invisible stitch. I didn't stuff any of these as I wanted them to still be fairly thin, but I think a tiny bit of padding would look good also. Then you just need to lay them out in the same order that I did, going from small to larger at the end with four small accent pieces at the front, and join them around the shape of the piece with an invisible stitch from the back to the front, placing them so that they lay slightly on top of each other, but not too much as you don't want the face area to be too large. For the two back spikes, place the four yellow triangles with two with the tracing on the outside and sew it together leaving the bottom edge open. After that, flip it the right way up and stuff it. Then, join it to the plush on one of the closest shell pieces to the back using an invisible stitch, 
making sure it is evenly placed. Once that is complete, we can then move on to the antenna. This is just six tubes sewn on the shorter side and then flipped upright. Then, for the yellow tip, place the mirrored pieces on the outside, sew around, stuff it and then flip it the right way up and conceal the raw edges. You then need to join each piece together, three tubes for each side and the tip at the top by tucking the raw edges into the tube and using an invisible stitch to join them to each end. To join this to the body, place it on either side of the front shell point using an invisible stitch, being careful to keep the circular shape as you're doing this. Then pin the tip of the shell so that it arches a little up and sew a line just before the yellow tip. For the eyes, place another two tubes inside out and sew along the shorter side of each one. Then place the two yellow circles on the tip of each one and sew it on carefully. Flip them both the right way up using something small to help you if you need to, then place these a little out and below the antenna using the same technique as before. For each of the legs, sew two of the mirrored claw pieces together around the top and place a little raindrop shaped piece so that the points align for each claw at the back and sew around this to give the legs a bit more of a bulky look. Once you've nearly reached the end of the sewing line, stuff it and conceal the open end. Repeat this until you have a total of six small legs and two large. Place the two large pieces further to the front a little behind the eyes, but directly on the line created by the bottom of the body. You will be sewing these by using the reference point created by the indent of the back, so sew straight along at the top of the raindrop shape using an invisible stitch. Repeat this process for the remaining six small legs, placing these so they are a little bit behind the biggest front piece. Make sure to follow the line of the body and that the claws are the right way around. Doing this means the pieces can be moved. And there you have it, that is how you make a scuttle crab plushie. I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave a like, subscribe and comment down below on what you'd like to see me make next. And while you're at it, why don't you go check out my other videos, I post new crafting videos every single week. Thanks for watching, bye!